Hey everybody, Bike here, back with another video, and this is my review of the iPhone XS Max. So I know most of you guys are thinking, hey Mike, this phone looks exactly like it did last year. And you know what? It does. But you guys have to understand that this is an S year upgrade for Apple. So the phone physically is going to look pretty much the same. And they're going to more focus more on internal improvements, such as faster processor, better camera, more power efficient and whatnot. And one thing I can assure you guys is the improvements that I've done to this phone this year definitely blow me away. When it comes to build quality, Apple definitely takes the cake on this. The stainless steel wrapped around the outer edges of the phone, along with the glass back, give the phone a very premium feel and look, as well as add quite a bit of weight, making it feel like Apple can justify their prices. So one advantage the iPhone has over its Android cousins is the fact that there is a perfect integration of hardware and software working together in perfect unison, which gives you this smooth, buttery user experience with zero lag between switching apps, which is one thing that Android struggles with, even though they possess higher RAM in most cases, but the iPhone still seems to beat them flat out with performance. And the reason it's buttery smooth is because Apple designs their hardware as well as their software, which allows Apple to constantly tweak the operating system, making it run at its fully optimized state. Whereas you have Android, which runs a generic version of Android across many different types of phones. I recently read an article stating that the iPhone XS Max has one of the best displays on any phone in the market right now. This I find 100% believable as the OLED technology produces deep blacks, vivid colors, and maximum brightness in well-lit areas. Next, let's talk the cameras. So the rear cameras feature dual 12 megapixel rear cameras with dual optical image stabilization, which allows you to record 4K video up to 60 frames a second. The front camera features a 7 megapixel true depth camera system, which allows you to make emojis and animojis, as well as for the facial recognition technology uh, for the Face ID, which allows you to unlock the phone. All the pictures I'm about to show you guys have been taken with the default camera settings on the iPhone, uh, except for the video, which I am recording in 4K at 60 frames a second, just to show you guys the clarity and smoothness of the video. <laughs> frames a second for the front facing camera at 1080p. Not bad at all. So iOS 12 includes a new augmented reality app called Measure with the iPhone 10 or newer. This app allows you to take an accurate measurement of any object. In this case, I've always been curious how long one of my cats are and now my dreams have finally been met. And another cool new feature is adjusting the background blur after the shot has been taken. Next, let's talk the battery. So the battery actually has given me incredible performance over the course of a day with heavy use of watching YouTube videos pretty much throughout the entire day. Still, when I go to bed at around 10 p.m. at night, I'm left with around 35% remaining on the battery. And this is better than I expected it to be as my Galaxy Note 9 was way less than that. Uh, but one thing uh, most people don't understand is Android runs a lot more background activity, uh, which drains the battery a lot quicker. And I think this is one reason why Apple can justify not putting a fast charger in their box. Because their operating system is so efficient, 
you don't need to really charge the phone throughout the day. Most people can get by with heavy use with, on a single day's charge without having to plug it in before they go to bed. Next, let me talk briefly about the stereo sound on this phone. So one thing I've noticed is there are a lot of YouTubers that will have the iPhone on a table playing a music track with a microphone in close proximity to give the viewer a sense of what the phone actually sounds like in real life. And in my opinion, that's very unrealistic because the viewer is still watching the video through whatever device they're watching it on and they're getting the sound that's coming out of that device and it's really not a true accurate reading of what the iPhone actually sounds like in real life. So for that very reason, I'm not gonna do that in this video. But from what I can tell you guys in my professional opinion, the phone sounds terrific. Watching movies and playing music through this phone give you a very surround sound like experience. There's great bass. And Apple's done a great job by implementing the speaker in the earpiece as well as the bottom facing speaker. And all I can say is it sounds terrific. Trust me. So that's been my experience so far with the iPhone XS Max and I can confidently say I am very impressed with this piece of technology. Leave a comment down below on what you guys think of the new iPhone. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And remember, always spank that like button. See you guys in the next video. Peace.